Good morning, everybody, and welcome to my show. Um, shout outs to Mike. We went to um, Half Price Books. I did pick up some things I will show you, some books. Uh, he gave me some comics, and I'll get to these in a minute. Just a couple. He bought some, so I don't know if he's going to show his stuff when he does a show. I just wanted to also show you what I've been doing since last week with the uh, little project, if you guys are interested in the art. So remember that little doodle I showed you last week? This is how it came out. You can sort of see a skull there. <laughs> HPA is like your macabre Lovecraft, you know. It's this was what's in my mind, I guess. You know, I don't plan these things out. And then I did a kind of nostalgic one because there's a reason for this too. See Lou in there, and that's me when I was around 17, 18. I don't even think I could get in there <laughs> if I wanted to. And it's adult books, HPA, not boobs. So this is just a sampling of the larger piece. I've got a whole bunch of other things I'm going to do, and I'll show you. Oh, I did forget to bring that over here, did I? Where is that? Oh, no, I have it. I'll show you. It's cool. But anyway, Dylan's been reaching out, which is great. You know, we're here for you, Dylan. You know that. Anything you need, anything you want. It's just funny because he's 17, and when I was 17, I left home. You know, so it's a, it's a, it's a struggle either way you look at it. I, I didn't want to have anything to do with anybody telling me what to do. You know what I mean? And I believe me, I know that feeling because I still feel like that sometimes to this day. Okay, so let's talk about what Mikey Boy gave me. Don't forget to like and subscribe to his channel. Mike's got comic issues. Yeah. Okay, so this is an X Men reprint. It looks like I didn't really take it out of the packaging to look at it closely. But you can see, because I remember, I think Submariner had different color pants or bathing suit, maybe. And then there's also a, uh, Nick Fury, Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. Ooh, one of my favorites. And this looks like it was a reprint from 1980. So definitely they're taking the original, not see the original X-Men, and reprinting those. And those, those were great, too, I'm sure. And I can't thank him enough. The next book he got for me is oh, love the artwork on this Godzilla half century war wow looks kind of bleak there for the king of all monsters man and I will not cut these up you know I, I'll show you something that I did get that I'm going to use for art but a lot of that stuff is pieces of comics and all kinds of different media mixed media awesome sergeant war or Sergeant Rock, Army at War. The Battle Clock of War. So it looks like he got stuck. And this is a 15 center. So again, my time period. I'm going to assume late 60s, early 70s. This is September no, uh, number 223. It's in pretty good shape, too. Joe Kubert. The artwork's phenomenal on this, but I would never, no, that would be sacrilegious. So those were the three comics he gave me for Christmas, because we decided, since I have a 17-year-old, I need to use the money elsewhere. And I picked this up for a buck, and I just picked it up because I like the colors. All this is like wood or fabric, believe it or not, you know. I, I didn't know you could actually do something like that with fabric, but apparently you can. Like, look at this. These are quilts. How do you do that? Is this really a quilt? I don't know what the hell it is, but it's not just paint. But that would be perfect to chop up and throw in there, you know? And for a buck, you know, you'll never know. Another thing I bought that was bizarre, which I paid for $3 for this, all the magazines were a buck. And they had all kinds. I mean, I, I could have looked through it more, but. I picked up so much stuff. Okay, so I have no idea what this is. Rip Kirby Pacific Comics or something. I don't know if they're reprints from an, a golden era or something. Look at that. You know I'm going to use some of that. And it's just really like... I'll show you. 
this kind of stuff. I don't know if it's romance or whatever it's supposed to be, but I'll take it. Because if I take this and use the black background and then add something like that, now we're going to get a whole different look. And that's basically what I'm going to do with this puppy. You know what I mean? Whoever he is. The next batch of stuff is Doctor Who books. And again, you know, it's nice to pay, you know, five bucks for something that's slightly used rather than paying the full price. I just bought everything I didn't have. Because for four dollars, five bucks, this is going into the collection. I've got to start moving things around. All right, two more, and then I'm going to call it a day because we are going to be having lunch soon. Uh, City of Death, this is the one with the Mona Lisa. It's a good one. It's a good story. Douglas Adams, so obviously it's a good story. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. And a Doctor Who book I had when I was younger. I finally got it back. That was a 7.99er, but it's, you know, it's a pretty big, big book. You know. All right, folks. Well, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, thanks to all 38 of you. Let's start spreading the word. I know kids aren't allowed to watch this thing, but spread the word. You know, I don't seem to be able to break 38 people watching this. Not that I'm complaining. I appreciate all 38 of you. <laughs> Believe me. All right, guys. Have a great day, and thanks for watching, and stay safe.